So this tip in InDesign is something that I've had to use a lot, and it's something that I learned over time. And it's actually pretty easy once you see it. Now, if you guys have ever come across a document that you open and you look over, let's say, in the swatches panel over on the right, and you see a bunch of swatches listed, let's say. These are colors that are saved with a certain document you have open. Now, if you see a color in there and you're like, well, where is that color being used? If you see right there, I've got like kind of an orangey color. Now, we can delete it, and if I come to it and delete it, there's a little trash can down here. It'll actually ask me to replace it with another color. So if I click, let's say, delete swatch, it'll say, do you want to replace it with another swatch you have in the panel there, or do you want to just create what's called an unnamed swatch? That means just don't get rid of the color out in the document. Just get rid of it from the panel. So if I were to come over here and say, yeah, let's make it blue, and I click OK, you can see right there, it'll say, oh, okay, well, it was used there, so we're going to get rid of it and replace it with the blue. Now, there's times I don't want to do that. I want to find exactly where, let's say, this lime-looking color right here is located all throughout the document, and I want to know that when I go to delete it or do something to it, I know where it is and what it's being used for. So here's a way we can do that. If I come up here to edit, I don't know how many of you have used Find Change before in InDesign, but it's really powerful. Tons of stuff we can do. And if I come to the <clears throat> Find Change panel here, the dialog box, we're going to see a bunch of tabs in here. Text, Grep, Glyph, and Object. Now, all these have different purposes, and most of the time you'll see that a lot of programs have a text find and change. That means, like, go out and find the word, you know, lesson and replace it with plan or something like that. Okay, that's text right there. Now, if I, if I want to replace or look at or find, let's say, color for something, some formatting, you'll see down here that we can actually find formatting and change formatting. Now, if you see right here, you're going to see it says text. If we go to find format down here, it's only going to find formatting for text. So if you pick color, it'll only do it for the text color. Now, I know that this color is maybe used inside of boxes. This lime green is kind of used in, like, let's say, some frames, so to speak. If I come to the object tab here and I click on that, and I know that they're used throughout the document, I can find object formatting and either change it or not right down here. So to find the object format, I'll come over to the right and click on this little eyeglass thing. It's going to say, all right, well, what do you want to find? Now, these are uh, attributes for objects, typically frames. So if I come to fill and if I come over here to the lime green color, see like that, and I click OK, it's going to say, all right, we're going to find an object with the fill of this color. Now, you guys, if it's used in a stroke, it won't find it. So you'll have to try searching for stroke as well. And you can do that. If I come over here to find, I can click on find. It's going to ask me to find it in all the documents. You can see right down here. And it's going to find all different kinds of frames. If I move this out of the way, I can see that it actually highlights where it's being used. Now, as I click on find next, take a look out here. Every time it's being used throughout the document, it'll find it and highlight it for me. So it went through and found all three. So if I wanted to, I could go out there and delete it and know what it's being used for. Or I could simply come in here and say, let's just change the formatting for these and maybe keep the color around, do whatever we want to do. So I would come to change format here, come to fill, pick another color, let's say that uh, aqua blue, whatever that is, click OK. And if I go to find first, it'll find the first one. I can change and then find down here. And it'll just start going through and changing each one. And that color I can then delete successfully. Now, the problem with this method, you guys, is it's only going to use it for frames. If you wanted to ensure that it was also not used in text, I could come to text here, come to find format, same kind of thing. Click on this little T over here to specify what to find. Come to the character color and do a fill of, let's say, the blue or whatever we were looking for. So I could find that, click OK. And it would run through and let me find each occurrence. And I could change it if I wanted to. But I wanted to talk to you and show you a little bit about the find change and just talk a little bit about, let's say, finding a color and being able to replace it or at least know where it is. So if you guys went back over to the swatches panel, you could delete it with some confidence.